Hello, this is Stephen with Stamps Tarantulas, and today I'm talking about feeding slings or tarantula spiderlings. Uh, first of all, this is where I keep all of my slings. Um, I got this from Walmart, and they are uh, standalone three drawer little totes with wheels. And what I did is I taped four of those together. So now I have. 12 drawers. I have six on this side and six on the other. And I've create, also created uh, a work surface. So I feed uh, my slings once a week. And then the, the second instar slings, I feed them twice a week. And that's uh, mainly what I want to talk about today is how do you feed the teeny babies. Um, I keep all my slings in either 40 or 50 gram vials. I used to use the two inch souffle cups, but it was uh, once you get a bunch of slings, it's very difficult to feed them out of those because every time you open it, it seems like they're trying to rush out. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is how do I feed um, the uh, half inch and larger? I have two uh, large dubia colonies, and what I do is I take this stair light and I have holes drilled in it. I think they're about quarter inch holes. And then I have one solid. And I dump a bunch of uh, dubias in there from the egg flats and shake them out. Then on the bottom, all you have is small dubia nymphs. So I keep those separate and I keep those here in the tea room. So when I'm feeding slings, I have a steady supply of feeders here for the little guys. Uh, you'll probably also notice that I have uh, mealworms in here and I use those to help kind of as cleaner crews also keep dermis dead beetles in my colonies. But the um, the mealworms help to keep, keep the fries down a little bit but also from time to time to change things up we'll use those as feeders. Um, I haven't uh, haven't done a, a video in quite a while uh, talking about my collection, but <clears throat> this is my tea room. Basically, on these shelves are all my adults and uh, adults and breeders. And uh, I'll do a I'll do another video talking about all the teas I have. But um, the main thing I want to talk about is feeding second instar slings. And um, if you have a ton of it, second instar slings, you know it's a challenge to feed them. And I do. So this right here, these are B albiceps. And you can see they're second instar, they're tiny. Well, you got to feed them once or twice a week. The problem is if you're giving them um, crickets, which I am, I'm giving them uh, pinheads, one, two week old crickets. You don't know when they're going to molt because they molt quite often and then when they molt the live cricket might just eat them. So here's what I've started doing. <clears throat> First of all I just made a new one. I'm going to get some adult crickets today and put them in here. But this is where I'm putting the adults. Here's the egg flats. I've got this for slices of orange, carrot, etc. And I've got this for either um, um, water crystals or <clears throat> like total bites for crickets. <clears throat> but this right here is um, moist eco earth. And I'll put the adults in here for about a week and the gravid females will get on there and lay their eggs. So after they, after about a week, I'll take that out, put it in a separate container and replace it with a new one. Two or three weeks later, you have a ton of pinheads. Well, I put the pinheads in here. And um, I, I don't use the cricket keepers so much anymore because I found out that uh, if you're putting this as chick feed in here, and if you're putting oranges and sweet potato, carrots, etc., and it mixes in with uh, chick feed, you'll get a moldy mess. So these are about two or three weeks old. You see, there's tons of them. The way that I get them out of this is I use this which is a 40 or 50 gram vial. This is a Gatorade bottle. I shake the, the egg flats into that and then into the vial. 
Now, if you're going to be feeding these second instar slings twice a week and you're worried about them molting and you're worried about the, the cr crickets eating them, here's what you can do. Put uh, a bunch of them in, in a vial, put them in the freezer, and then uh, 15, 20 minutes later, you have a bunch of dead crickets fresh dead crickets and then uh, what I do from there is I let them defrost and then I use tweezers to grab them if you can like by the antenna or by one of the legs and then feed them to the slings. The big advantage to this is you're feeding your second or third in star slings <clears throat> often enough to the, where they're getting the nutrition to grow fast like we want them to at the same time, you don't have to worry about them getting eaten because I can't tell you how many times I've fed live crickets to slings to find out that the cricket won the battle. But anyway, that's how I feed my uh, spiderlings. And again, this is how I keep them. And I keep or stay organized. Uh, as far as a feeding schedule, I keep it very basic. I feed them on the weekends. Um, the second instar, third instar, I feed the weekends and Wednesday. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I appreciate it.